Good morning, everyone, uh, or maybe good evening for, for those who are in Australia and, and Asia. Uh, so I'm Andres Unikas. For those who do not know me, I'm, I'm representing Teltonica Networks and Operational Marketing Department. And uh, today, as you can see from the slide, we, I'm going to present you uh, what is the essential Teltonica Networks Level 2 technical training. Uh, maybe some of you have already joined Level 1 technical training, and I will tell you short differences, what you will be able to see, uh, what you will be able to learn from the Level 2 training. Uh, so starting with, um, uh, I would like just to state uh, one important fact for those who, who do not know if uh, should I join the technical training or shouldn't I? Is it good enough or isn't it? Uh, so we have already our support team managed to, uh, let's say, train more than 115 users already through one year. All of them were positive about the training, trust me. Most of them were very happy that we started to make these paid training sessions. And you know what? they will be even more happy when they will hear that uh, the level two technical training will start already on November 17th, meaning in only one week. And we have a chance to register it since we have a few slots left. So do not hesitate and just uh, register it. And I will show you how you can do it and what you will learn there. So after the overview of level one technical training, which will be the beginning of level two training agenda, uh, you will hear basically where my colleagues covered topics such as uh, network fundamentals, use cases and usage scenarios, broad codes and versions and RTOS services. Uh, the agenda also will cover topics uh, such as uh, let's say communication theory, uh, RET, uh, RTOS uh, configuration examples and the backend of them. Uh, furthermore, you will be introduced to, uh, let's say, wireless communication technologies also. And I would like to highlight probably the most important part from this agenda, which is uh, main RET OS configurations and main RET OS backend communication uh, configurations. Uh, so talking from the first part, uh, which is main RET OS configurations, for those who do not know, RET OS is our operating system. Uh, Basically, our products are based on this uh, operating system. And through many years of development, we managed to make, I would say, well, almost a perfect system uh, for our hardware. So going back to the main OS configurations, you will be able to understand a specific load balancing functionality. Uh, you will be able to set traffic rules and configure industrial protocols such as Modbus, for example. Going to the back end, you will learn more about how to configure OpenVPN from uh, network rules. You will be ready to set mobile and firewall settings. Basically, you will be almost a professional with our product. Uh, the structure of this training, level two training, is very similar to the level one training. Just the difference is that it will take 10 hours instead of 12 hours, and it will be divided into two days instead of three days. And I think we thought us, uh, when he was making this training was you know, copying uh, like sales training structure since uh, in level one technical training, we had three days and 12 hours. In sales training level one, we have 10 hours and two days. And you see uh, the similarities in the structure. Uh, so I have mentioned already Vitotas Gustaitis, which is our trainer of this level two, uh, which has already made uh, level one training to more than 50 users, which is an experienced certification coordinator and a professional trainer. Uh, so welcome him, uh, because I have a few interesting questions to him. So hello, guys. So I am Idus Gusaitis, and I'm representing a Photonica training. So the first question. Yeah. The why first question... should you choose level two training? Yes? Yeah. Yeah. This is the question. So the goal of level two is, as Andrews explained, is to showcase not only the features which we covered in level one training, but of course, to show them how to configure them. So if you are already aware of our Totonica networking products and some of the network fundamental parts, 
then is the recommendations to select a level two training where I'm going to showcase not only how to configure feature, but also how to test it and showcase how it works in real condition. Okay, so uh, thanks for the answer. And then I have uh, another question. So what's the main difference, uh, let's say, if you would be able to answer in, let's say, two or three sentences, what is the difference in level one and level two? Well, so level one is more theoretical part of the training where we talk about how does internet working and what does our devices has and what maybe do not have in comparison to other Totonic networking products. While in level two, we take those devices, we do take those features and we test them, we configure them, we showcase the configuration and we have live ex experience in using them. Okay, okay, perfect. I think it will be uh, very interesting because, you know, uh, from sales perspective, you know, uh, many of our clients were asking to make more use cases, more usage scenarios. So they are keen to know how to, let's say, how to sell the product to the exact, uh, let's say, solution. And with technical uh, training, they will learn how to install it there. So it will be even easier to, to, to make a sale to them. Correct. Yeah, and going to the third question, uh, how should I know if I'm ready for level two? How should I know if, if my knowledge is ready for level two technical training or should I go to level one before? Yeah, so to those customers who, let's say, cannot decide which one to take, level one or level two, so we in our certification system have prepared a short test which will validate their current knowledge. Yeah, so we're going to test both networking knowledge, our product knowledge, our feature knowledge. And after that, we're going to simply recommend either to select level one or level two, depending on the test results. Again, this test is not mandatory. Yeah, so if you know that you have a great amount of knowledge about level one training, you can easily select level two, even without participating in level one. But again, if you don't know, please take a short test, validation test, which will tell you which one we recommend you to go first. Okay, thanks. We took it. So this was uh, one of the questions that came to my mind just making this presentation and, and speaking with you, listening to your answers. Um, just to repeat for our clients, for our, uh, uh, let's say, attendees, uh, which are listening today to us, uh, they recommend the test, which will show you if you are ready for level two is not mandatory. It is just a recommended test for you to know uh, if you are, let's say, ready for level two or should you go uh, firstly to level one? Okay, so going to the fourth question, um, enough about level two, let's say, so what's on level three? Will you have anything to tell me that it, to me on level three, since in level one, you made theoretical part. In level two, you are going to make uh, real examples and configuration examples. So what will happen, uh, what you will, what you are going to present to our clients on level three training? So in level three, we're going to go even deeper. We're going to deep in the rabbit hole. So while in the level two, we basically provide you with configuration examples. Yes, we'll demonstrate them. On level three, we're going to go to devices backend. So we're not only going to check the core uh, settings of this feature, but also how to troubleshoot. So level three will most likely, will aim to how you can troubleshoot open VPN connection, mobile related issues. Yes, so not only how to configure, but how to fix it. Okay, okay, perfect. I think it will be even more interesting than level two or level one. <laughs> yes. Uh, yes. Going to the last question, uh, I would like to ask, you took, I think, one year to make the level two training, right? Correct. So when the level three will take place? Well, currently we only have, let's say, a draft of level three. We're already working on it. But again, uh, depending on the um, quantity of the information that we need to gather and put in the training. And of course, not to mention that we have you guys, the customers, which we're going to provide level one and level two training, it will take some time. So approximately it's going to take the same amount of time as for level two. So I would say 
2022 around november december okay so it will be like a christmas present right something like that yes <laughs> okay perfect all right thank you without us uh, I'm guessing that most of our clients, potential clients, are are willing to know what is the procedure and how should they register for level two. So it is quite simple. It will work uh, uh, very similar uh, as with level one. Just use Teltonica Network Certification Program. And information about this program you can easily find in our website. Just go to our website, to the resources and press on certification program for those who do not know what is certification program i would like to answer you that it is an initiative to pass our knowledge to you to our clients potential clients since here we are going to you know have all of our trainings meaning uh, sales training, technical training level one, technical training level two. Uh, furthermore, after listening to the course, you will, um, you know, get a certification, certificate, uh, even a badge, uh, which will be showing that you are certified with Teltonica Networks. If you are thinking what are the benefits of this system, uh, I should separate it into, let's say, two different parts. One about certification program where, where you will get deeper technical and sales knowledge, where you will learn as much as most of us do, uh, with which you will be able to improve the, your efficiency with our products, either by supporting your clients or selling products to them, let's say. And in fact, uh, in the future, we are going even to have a closer relationship between, since uh, you will understand quite enough information, uh, with which we could participate in different tenders and projects. And the second part about the system benefits uh, is that um, you, for those who have already listened to in the introduction of the system, you remember uh that you are going to have your own account right since in this registration system and certification program every client has their own account so uh, with this account you will have your own dashboard where you will see your training status time left until the training certifications etc uh, furthermore you are going to get many different automatic notifications for you not to uh, forget the exact time for your training and you might be guessing what to do next. How should I start? Very simple. Just register for the right training right now and find all the information needed for the certification program in our website. It will be much easier for you to do so. Okay, so uh, thank you very much. Uh, the introduction is over. <laughs> uh, I would like to review the questions since we have quite many of them. Uh, Vito Tos, are you ready for, for the questions? Yes, as always. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, when um, when I will read a technical one question. Yeah, of course. Just tell tell the answer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, of course. Yeah. Uh, okay. So one uh, one attendee is asking: Is the level one webinar available to watch somewhere online? Yes. Uh, there is a webinar recording on our website. Uh, just go to resources, to webinars, and then press on past webinars. Uh, there you will find the uh, certification program and level one technical training introduction. Uh, it is called like that. Uh, also, you can find them in our YouTube channel. Uh, one attendee is asking to share the link to the test. And I think uh, he's talking about the recommended test to validate if you are ready for level two or level one. So this test is available in your own account in the certification program. If you do not have your own account, just write to your sales manager uh, and then you will get instantly the, the account logins. Uh, or you can just go to our website and then press interested at, at the, uh, let's say, training, technical or sales training. Okay, let me to see. Okay, we have two technical questions. So we do this, be ready for this. Yes, yes, of course. So, yeah, so we see one of the question is, is the future plans of bringing a TRB-142 RM Cortex CPU and more memory to wide range of TRB modules such as TRB-2 series devices? Well, currently we don't have a plans. 
because if you do that, it currently will represent it in completely new hardware and completely new product. Thus, we don't have any plans for uh, changing or improving the B2 series devices hardware specifics. Okay, okay, sounds sounds clear. Yeah. Uh, and another question, can RMS, the remote management system, be used to control TRB and RGT devices that are only connected to the internet via WAN Ethernet? Of course, that is the main goal of our remote management system, that it has no limits in regards to remote accessibility of our Teutonic networking products. The rule of thumb, as I like to say, and this is also covers in level one training, is that as long as our Teutonic networking products will have any kind of internet access through wired connectivity, mobile connectivity, or via even Wi-Fi connectivity, it will be able to connect to our remote management system, thus allowing you to not only access our Teutonic networking product, but also a third party devices behind routers or TRB devices. Okay, okay, uh, sounds fine. And uh, for those who are asking about RMS, uh, you can easily go to our website and you can check uh, quite, quite a lot of information there. There you will find four different or three different flyers about each part of RMS. There you will find the benefits of RMS. There you will find even use cases where RMS is applicable. Uh, and I have one last question about validity of uh, level two and level three. Since level one, uh, I think certificate is valid for two years. Uh, what what is going to be with level two and level three? Do you, do you know or you need to check uh, for more information? Well, I can check this for more information, but as I believe it is not changed for level two or level three. So all of the certificates will be valid for same period, meaning two years. But again, uh, I will provide more information in, after the webinar is finished. Okay, okay. So we are going to upload the Q&A session to our website and uh, Jefferson uh, just write, uh, not write, just look into our website after one or two days, there you will find the answer to this question. Uh, okay, we have one more question. Is there any plans to implement 5G mobile technology into RT9 series? Do you know any information, Vitotas? Unfortunately, I do. <laughs> So basically, we have, are having plans in making 5G router, but it, it will not be based on Route 9 series devices. Actually, we even do not know on which it's going to be, be based. Currently, what we can share is that Altonica Networks is working on 5G router. Yeah. And to be honest, each in each technical training that I provide, at the end of the training, I'm always asking you guys, you, the clients, what you think should a 5G router should have. So we are very interested of what you think. So the general answer is, yes, there are plans in releasing 5G router, and no, it will not be based on Route 9 series devices. Okay, okay. Uh, okay, that's perfect. So we do not have more questions. Uh, also, uh, see in the chat, one has uh, provided okay. a question. What is the pass mark for technical training, training certification? So for both level one and level two, in, in total, you're going to receive 30 questions and you need to answer to 24 questions or collect 24 points to pass a certification test. Okay, okay, 30 questions, quite, quite, quite a lot. <laughs> mm -hmm. You yeah. know, I, I would be bored <laughs> answering 30 questions, but okay, everything is great. Uh, all right, so thank you. Thanks everyone for joining this webinar. Uh, I hope that you liked it and uh, do not miss to check the, let's say, recording, share it with your colleagues and check the Q&A session uh, in our website. Okay, thank you very much and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.